To create a stock take with bins or shelves that you want to set up beforehand, in the back office click on stock and then click on stock takes. Here at the bottom left hand corner you will now create a bin or shelf name. Let's call that one bin 1 and then we click on save stock take. Choose only items with a tick and click that one and you will see it will give you nothing was saved you click OK now on the left hand side where it says stock take just choose the bin that you've just created again so that it's blank here on the right hand side in the middle click there on add items and now you will be able to search for the items you want so you can now either go and search by scrolling down or you can type in the description of the item here on the top where it says description or you can click here on the top right hand on major department and choose the department that you want to search your item in. I'm going to choose a few items here and once you've made your selection all the way on the right hand bottom you can click on accept you will see it will pull it through to this section you can now click here at the bottom left hand corner on stock a uh, save stock take so the moment I save it this will now be created for you for future use so you can now log out and log into stock take again and your bin will be created for you if you now decide you want to put something else on that bin just choose the bin that's what's currently in the bin and I can just follow the steps again add item click on this one go and search for a specific item or department and you can now add the item on that same bin or shelf by adding and always remember when you're done with a bin or adding or removing something from the bin just to click on save stock take again I can now also go and remove something that I don't want on that bin or shelf again by clicking the little X there on the right hand side and then click delete once I'm done you can click on save stock take and all your items will be ready you can now also go and create a new bin by clicking on new and give it a new name. I'm going to give it bin 2. And the same process apply. We save the stock take. Only items with a tick. Click that one. It will tell you nothing was saved. But that's just to create the grid. Now if we want to add anything to bin 2. I must choose it so that it's empty on the right hand side and I can now add anything I want. If I want a whole department there, um, you choose the department and we can now by right clicking here on the little check, you can now se select all and accept it and it will pull everything through. Once I'm done, I'm just going to click save stock take and you can close it and open it at any stage and it will still be there open the stock deck again and here's my bins if I want to print the bins to start the stock deck I click on print stock deck show stock on hand on report do not print stock on hand or yes so I'm just going to choose do not print and this one will then show you everything that was in your bin and it will also give the name of the bin on the top and you will see there's a front stock, a back stock and an existing stock if it's maybe somewhere else that you also need to count. This you can print out by clicking or searching your printer here on the left. You can also export it here to an email should you want to and give this to your staff to go count and also you can click bin 1 and do exactly the same for it 
print stock take and now you can exit odyssey carry on with anything else and once they done count it you can click on stock stock take again choose the bin that you want to enter now after they've counted click on bin one you're going to choose i'm entering one uh, just a few stock counts there and once i'm done i can click save now they bring you the second bin they finished counting that one and we're going to carry on with all our bins or shells until you are done by clicking save every time now if you want to finalize all these stock takes that you have done you can now either finalize them per bin or we want to merge it because sometimes there can be something in bin 1 and in bin 2 that you want to merge um, or in if you want to do your whole stock take we will then go to merge stock take and we will tell the system that I want to merge all my bins in the shop and very important click that setting there that will add all those items together and here we will tell it that today is the 15th of November full stock take and we click on merge and we're going to choose add all counted quantities of the selected stock codes together and we click that one and it will tell you that a new stock take 15th has been merged so if we go to this section on the left you will find your 15 full stock take and at this stage you can still make some adjustments and add or take something away but once this is done we're going to click on pro says stock take on the left hand bottom corner and here we will then put that slider on if i did not count anything here we assume that the stock is finished and then we're going to say set as new stock on hand so it will override whatever you have on the shelf or that is in odyssey at the moment and we click set as new and once we are done we click ok it will now bring up a variance report for you to print and once this is done I would suggest just to close this system and run a finalize end of day. This is this checkered flag. Once you've run the finalize end of day, Odyssey will take the stock value of everything in the shop and keep track or keep note of it and save it for future use.